Hello guys, Inigo Zapatero here for Stylized Station Tutorial Series and today we'll be talking about HUDs in After Effects to video games. The first thing here is New Camp, name it HP, white and height this way and OK. Duration, one second, 30. FPS, okay, everything is okay. Control Y to create a new solid. HP, green color, okay, okay. Here, select Title Action Shape and select the rounded rectangle to, to mask our HP solid. Click. Hold control this way. Now control D on HP and add the plugin tint. Select the mask, mask expansion and around 17 is fine and the feather around here okay and make this soft mm, darker okay select the colors you want but something like this a bit of gray a bit of gradient, okay. Now create the new solid black solid. The color here doesn't matter, it's just because if you have a large project, you don't want it to be everything in the same color, so black is fine for things like that. Select particles, okay, add particle world. And now, take the X and Y, move forward in the line, in the timeline, okay, this uh, for final and particle effects, set this in full. Okay, now you have this weird effect and we gotta try to make this looping, okay? So the thing we're gonna do here is decrease this a bit and go to particles, set this the color you want, white or with a little yellow. Lower the max opacity and duplicate the first HP bar. Change the color here, right click, color you want, aqua for example, and select toggle switches and alpha matte. Now, as you see, See the differences between Alpha Mad and No Track Mate. Now we have a animation. It's not really good, but it will get better. It's something. It's something to start. So let's begin with the parameters of the particles. Let's move these. I like from the left side it gives a much more cool touch and as you can see these colors with twos are too much 
for this kind of comp so let's set this dark and we'll tint the bottom as well so let's select dark green okay that's too much let's further this and sometimes when you feather too much it's like a glow when you export these images in unity will be terrible because you have a cut here and in the screen that will be a mess so duplicate again select this rename as mask same as here mask change the color aqua on top and alpha again so now we have our glow we have our particles what we need I like to select a little bit of glow here just a touch and vector blur a little bit of amount not too much and now we'll set the physics gravity around around this and the velocity you see it's cool but it doesn't loop you see you see the end of the animation so we gotta work on this move out of the screen okay it's not really bad but it needs more work select resistance just a bit and velocity at around 5 Okay, 12, you gotta move and be sure to, to see if it doesn't have broken loop. Okay, now does the loop perfectly. Now, particles and height, you can move this below the globe. You see the difference. You can play around the particles in the way you want. Because this is an example of what you could do with two simple things. So now right click precompose HP B. Now Drop shadow you can do in effects and presets. Drop shadow. Two of distance. Add some some shadow to distance 100 percent of opacity and set a dark gray or green works fine as well uh, we wanna do a bit of contrast here because 
and because a hat will give you that construct so the hat will give you the, that contrast sometimes and you want a difference from the the game sometimes if you have a, a green environment or something can be a bit confusing so make some contrast in the corners will be really really good control D make the same but with white and the opposite direction less distance no here less distance a little bit of sadness now we have our eight paper with a great loop and game ready so let's create another comp 200 200 okay and control y new solid dark gray select the ellipse tool left click all control shift boom select the mask control d subtract open settings of the mask and low the mask expansion this is like a ring, but now you will add feather. Now you have like a glowing orb, but this will be where the character will be. Control D on the bottom. Delete the mask 2 and 10. Now you select the color you want, a little bit darker, and OK. Let's create a new comp called Hot Example and make it like, like in a screen. Let's track our HP and our comp. Create a new adjustment layer and tree tone. Now with this you have the control to select the colors as the way as the way you want. Maybe This we settle as you wanted to. This could be something. This is an example. Okay. It feels a bit empty, but it's not. Let's track a Mario image I found in Google make this like the circle size okay and now see how it works And it has a perfect loop. And now, how to send this to Unity? Okay. Render queue. 
export our HP comp output PNG sequence RGB plus alpha channel OK select where you want to export and render now now you have to download a free software called glue it you can find it in the internet and what it does it makes a perfect perfect tile set select the hot images select them number of columns six is fine glue it close and save save as hp tile set and open unity okay now in unity let's create a new folder hot and import our hp tile set right to the multiple apply sprite editor and the slice read by cell size and the size of our composition in after effects slice and apply and close now we have this and we'll have a problem here let's drag this here and create our animation HP animation three samples and drag the entire animation here you'll see a little bit of wiggle but it it happens because you have a max size here in default and you have to settle this in this size and apply and now everything works perfectly you have your tile set ready to your game now the only thing you have to do is create a canvas and settle everything as you want to I hope you've enjoyed this video. I could make more complex things for Unity with After Effects, with Motion and other stuff. And thank you for watching.